VIP bottles all on my table. My niggas with me, we sipping up. I got bad chicks and they able. These fools ain't how to cool as us, and this dying's all. Yo, what is going on guys? Today, I'm gonna be bringing you guys a brand new video and today I'm actually excited. I actually wanted to do this for a long time. This is actually something I wanted to try, but I wasn't sure if you guys would like it. But I'm doing it anyways because I want to see what you guys personally think about it. So today, I'm gonna be doing my own CSGO case in a sense. Like, I'm gonna show you guys what I think the next case. If I, like, if I was the one to make a case, this is how, like, these are the skins I would put in my case. And I'm also gonna tell you what color they would be in and on top of that, what skin and what they look like. I'll be showing pictures and everything. So. To get right into it, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll bring you guys right into the video. Peace. Alright guys, to start it off, I chose the MP7 Poison. The reason why is because we have a lot of the same repeating cases, and like the same color schemes, and I feel like we should change it up a little bit. So I decided all my repeat blues are pretty much going to be pistols mainly, and new pistol skins that I think that we need more of and stuff like that. So what we started out with is the MP7 uh, Poison, but that's the only blue skin that I have that's not a pistol. Alright guys, for the next one we got the Desert Eagle Jungle, yes guys, this skin looks really cool to me, I think this one would be a really cool Desert Eagle skin because we have a lot of just plain Desert Eagles and I think we should have a new styleful ones and I like I like skins that actually are kind of flashy, that's just me, but yeah, so I think that we should put for our other blue should be Desert Eagle Jungle. Next up we got the 5-7 Dragon guys, um, the reason why I chose this mainly is just because the blue and the white looks really really good together and I think it really makes this gun pop out especially compared to all the other 5-7s that we have in the game. Next up we got the Furious Peacock or what I call it is just the Glock 18 Peacock. I think this skin looks really really unique and I think this would be a really cool Glock because most of the Glocks we have in the game are not really nice looking or on top of that they're not valuable and I feel like if this was this would be one I don't think it'd be under the valuable side but I think it would definitely hit the mark for looks and for our final blue skin we have the tech 9 cybernetic yes I chose this one because I think this uh, has a really good look to it and I think the tech nines need better looks I couldn't find a different tech nine that I didn't think that was as clean or nice looking as this one that's why I chose this and C League also has a, a lot of professional graphic designers so I chose them too just because they have really good design for our first purple guys, it is the Deep Whore, the P90S guys. We don't have a lot of nice P90 skins, so I chose the Deep Whore because I think this brings a whole new look to like the P90 in general because I really like how the way that they're like all this like mossy green. Like we don't have a lot of cool skins like this and I feel like this is a very detailed skin so I, do, I think that the P90 deserves this. Next up for our purples, we have the FAMAS Waves. I think this looks really cool because it, it gives like a cool like abstract look and just like, I don't know. I think I just really like the colors that it gives out. And I think that we need some cooler FAMAS skins because nobody, we don't have anything cool for the FAMAS. So that's why I chose this for the FAMAS. And for our third purple, we have the Galil AR King Jungle. Yes, this thing looks fantastic. All the design on it and everything is just super amazing. I think whoever created this did a fantastic job. I love the line that's on it and everything. I think the red and like the red and the gray is just perfect. I think this is a great Galil skin. And for our last but not least, our final purple, I chose the UMP45 Old Knight. I think this one has like its own look and everything. I like the skull, I like the Robin Hood kind of effect to it. I love like the gold edges and everything. I think it's really good made and I think that this would be probably one of the best UMPs put in the game. And for our first pink guys, I used the M4A1S Lionheart. I thought this would be a perfect spot to put it in as a pink because it has great detail. But at the same time, it's a very used weapon, so I, I was going to put it in the purple, but then I thought about it, I was like, the M4A1S is used more than any of those other ones in the, in the purple skins. So I was like, this is definitely one that's going to have to go to the pink. I would put it in the red, but I have something better I actually chose for the red. Alright guys, for my second pink, I decided to use the USPS Bloodlust. The reason why is because I feel like we need more expensive USPs. The reason why, also on top of that, is because... All we have is one high rarity USP, otherwise it's the kill confirm, otherwise we don't have anything else. So I thought that this would be a nice one to add in there just because I like it and also the way it looks. It looks like there's like a story behind the crafting of this one. Alright guys, and for our last pink we have the SG553 Blue Jungle. I think this thing looks fantastic. I think it has a weird unique look. I don't know why but I think I have a lot of likes for the people who make uh, skins with like animals or like creatures or something different. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of like just like colorful ones, I'm more liking for like design ones and I think this one really did a good job on it too. Alright guys, for our first red we have the AK-47 Glasgow Beast. Yes, this thing looks freaking amazing, I think it looks awesome, the detail, 
Everything about it just looks so cool. Honestly, I would never expect this to be on an AK skin just because I would never see anybody thinking about making something this creative. I love everything about this skin. I think the skin looks fantastic and this is exactly why I put this as my red just because A, it's a popular skin. AK is probably one of the most popular if not the most popular skin. If not, I'm saying the opposite number one. But the AK skin right here looks fantastic. I think this would be probably one of the best skins they could put on an AK. And that is in my personal opinion. So I hope you guys do like that AK skin. Guys, for last or not least, our last red op blue wolf elite. I think this thing looks fantastic. I cannot say anything different to it. Honestly, it looks so perfect. I think that this this design on this is so good. I think I like it better honestly than the hyper beast like design. And a lot of people be like, well the hyper beast is nice, or whatever, but honestly I think the hyper beast does look really cool and everything. But I feel like this would look way better. It kind of has like the same kind of looks, but I, I feel like this wolf design on it just looks so much better than the Hyper Beast effect that it has already. So, this is what I would have if I designed my own case. And I want to know what, what you guys would change out of this whole case and what you guys would replace it with. So comment below what you guys would want instead of this skins. And send me a link to your YouTube channel if you guys make one just like me, like a case thing too. I'm not going to take credit for this. This case building thing was all... I got this idea from McSkillet. I'm not going to take any credit for it like that or anything. So, but if you guys did enjoy this video, please put a thumbs up. If you like my case, the way I built it, put a thumbs up. And if you guys, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.